What time is it? It's Packard Folks at Time. Hat? Check. Shirt? Check. Pants? Optional. Mug? Double check. Check us out at cafepress.com slash Packard Folks at where you can get all this great merchandise and more. Do you like Packard Pokes at and want to hear it on demand and on the go? Download the free app today at Stitcher.com. Available on iOS, Android, Nook, and iPad. This is Packard Pokes at and I'm poking at your news. Your news. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another fine edition of Packard Pokes at. I am your immutable and unmutable host, Packard Sonic, and joining me tonight from the far west coast is Connie Practical Magic 9. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose my voice tonight. <laughs> Which Do- is awful, is, you know, considering it's a talking show. Yeah, <laughs> that's that, that would be really bad if you lost your voice on a show that you have to talk on. Uh, although I've, yeah. although I've done that myself a couple of times, <laughs> I've done this show completely just like I can't bear to talk, but I'm still showing up. <laughs> <laughs> that whiskey growl sound. Huh? Yes, exactly. And joining us also from the far east coast is Sophane from YouTube. Hello from America. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Poison that well. Yes, he is the uh, other half of poisoning the well. The better half. The <laughs> clearly, clearly, the less gay half. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, everyone thinks Pat is gay, um, so I should make the note that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. He's so gay. <laughs> being happy is okay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being happy. <laughs> Jeez. What are you, born in the 40s? Hey, <laughs> gay. I'll have me some effect. <laughs> <laughs> well, with all the weird and mm. nasty ass shit that's happening out in the world today. We decided we're going to take the show in a little different direction tonight, so we're going to just troll the fuck out of you. <laughs> you know what? It's smart. This is a good move. This is going to work. <laughs> I certainly fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and that is actually our topic for tonight is trolling. Troll a V, you mad bro. <laughs> <laughs> So glad I'm here for this. I feel like I feel like I fit right in. <laughs> now, that trolling can be done for a lot of good reasons. People, because you 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 get somebody that just acts just so fucking over the edge. You just have to say something. It's like a moral imperative. We have to do this. <laughs> yes. Of course, there are some trolls that are just fucking assholes and they are doing that just because well they're hateful motherfuckers and they're trolling a particular community because like i said they're just hateful motherfuckers those kind of trolls are the ones you don't feed those ones you cut the heads off (laughs) yeah yeah but look i'm not sure i'm beginning to think that everyone like on platforms like youtube Mm -hmm. i feel like they're all trolling yes like they're I, I see trolls everywhere. Um, begin, damn it, I see dead people. I'm beginning to think that I see trolls <laughs> be behind every yeah. corner. I think no one is serious anymore. It yes. can't be. Yes. Can't be. The, one of the biggest trolls, uh, as far as Twitter is concerned, is got to be, and hands down, <laughs> is Patton Oswalt. He trolled the internet back on August 17th, 2013. He put out a series of tweets. He broke them apart. In just the right points, because Twitter has a limit of 160 characters. And here, I'm just going to, I'm not going to read all these, but there will be a link in the description box below here. But you got to check this out. This is a, a, one of these. He says, when it comes to doing laundry, I firmly believe in using environmentally friendly detergent. And I also believe that's the whole tweet. 
Now, he broke this apart, and there was some time that went between each one of these tweets. So this way, when it came up later, it's completely hilarious. He continues on, whites and, quote-unquote, darks should be kept separate. <laughs> Sorry if that sounds so tree-huggy for my conservative followers. Which is, the, 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 the first part would be completely separate from the second part, but... If yeah. you didn't read the whole tweet in its, in, in its context, in both of them, you have no idea what the hell he's doing. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Patton Oswalt is a fucking genius, dude. Yes, he is. I fucking love that guy. Um, last time he was, uh, last couple times in, he's been in Atlanta, you know, of course, me and Patton have gone and see him. Um, he's fucking great, dude. That guy's so fucking. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, he is. Awesomely douchey. Yeah, yeah, and. The best part, he's an atheist also. That's the best part. <laughs> well, that's because he's smart. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, another one of these that he tweeted, he says, You think anyone should be able to buy a gun for any reason, you idiot? Well, why don't we just... Then he breaks off again. He says, Let NAMBLA members fuck anyone they want. Am I so crazy for wanting my kid to grow up in a safer world? <laughs> oh, I could never be that incorrect. <laughs> These tweets oh, are so fucking funny. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. That kind of that kind of humor speaks to my soul. Yes, it speaks to my soul and lets me. You know what? After I die, nothing. Mm. Nothing. It's done. It's done. This is all <laughs> bullshit. And uh, do what you want, kids. Right. Evil. Evilness was tro is kind of trolling you in the chat room. He says, "Where's the tomatoes?" I'm not paying attention to her. <laughs> they were tangerines, and she fucking knows it. It's not. It's, it's not. 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 not, not. You're not baiting me with that. I'm not falling for that bullshit. <laughs> uh, and Dog uh, commented also saying either they're trolls or somebody's breeding cretins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They are. Some of it. Some of it's hard to tell. Yes, it is. I know. It is. It really is. One of my favorite ones that I read. Now, trolling is not just something that you know people do online. Trolling has been going on for as long as time has been around, as, as long as recorded history has been around. Time and memorial. Oh, yes, absolutely. One of the <laughs> – Connie sent this one to me, and it, it mentioned it to me at the, at the f first part of it, and it was so amazing. I have to read it. He actually trolled the goddamn fucking planet with this one. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's – this guy named Oliver, quote-unquote, Porky Bikar, a resident of Alaska, he decided to, quote-unquote, ignite Mount Edgecombe, a dormant volcano. Now, that's a trick you got to pull off. He pulled it off on April Fool's 1974 by dropping 70 tires on the summit and then lighting them on fire. Yes. He pranked <laughs> the world like, like a charm, and the news of the rumbling volcano spread around the world. Yeah. <laughs> Tire fires are hilarious anywhere. <laughs> but on top of a uh, dormant volcano, they're the best. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Oh yeah. my god, what a great one. <laughs> he forgot to tell the Coast Guard. He told the people in town, you know, this is up in Alaska. He told the people in town, oh yeah, that did this, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but yeah, he forgot to tell the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard alerted other people and it went. Basically, around the world. <laughs> but he it went, it went you what you know before there was viral. That's mm -hmm. what it was. Everybody yeah. got on their one way radios and messed yeah. the whole round world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old time trolling. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. You know that would have been hilarious. Like two weeks before Vesuvius erupted. Oh yeah. <laughs> Aha! People of Pompeii just fucking with you. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Some of these people are just really damn fucking unusual. A guy named John Teeter was the name that was used on several forums back in the year 2000 and 2001 by someone claiming to be a time traveler from 2036. He made several quote-unquote predictions about the future, and the crazy thing is a lot of people believed him. He, sent, he put up this picture of the Earth as it is now, 
And then a picture soon. It's like a goddamn metal thing around a circle or a bolt or something. And it's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm only going to believe Polaroids from the future. <laughs> right. So I feel like they're still somehow making those in 2036. <laughs> right. Now, this one, I, I don't have it up, but recently there was a, somebody had trolled an art gallery. They just take, they, they took a pair of glasses and they, they set it on the floor. This it just happened just a few, about a month or so ago. Oh, yeah. And they, they, they just put these glasses laid out of the floor and people are coming up taking pictures of the glasses. And there's like, oh, wow, this really says something. It's like, no, I just placed the goddamn pair of glasses on the floor to <laughs> see what you would do. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know what? I saw that in the in the in that art uh, museum and yeah. everything. Yeah, and everybody's like taking pictures and everything. Uh-huh. But the thing is, you know what? I thought it made a real statement, and um, I appreciate his art. <laughs> Zed, I, I I knew what he was doing. I yeah. get it. I get I get your message, and that shit is deep, bro. We should all look at this a little differently. Right now. There's a, even a troll that lives in my state. <laughs> He's a resident of Milwaukee. He lives near the airport. And he wrote, this guy, his name is Mark Gubin. He wrote, Welcome to Cleveland on, in huge letters on the roof of his house. So when airplanes come in, they say, Welcome to Cleveland. Coming in, it was like, Wait a minute. Wait, wh- wh- why are we in Cleveland? <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's really good. Um, I actually, one of my favorite memories, um, I used to live in Pensacola, Florida. Mm-hmm. And um, the reason I live in Atlanta now and, um, uh, you know, was because uh, I was a victim of Hurricane Ivan. Um, oh. Was that 1994? And uh, it wiped the town out, dude. It just crushed the fucking town. Ah. It literally washed my job out to see oh, um, my office and everything. So my computer, my Mac that I used to work on is somewhere at the bottom of Pensacola Bay. No, oh, no. And, uh, <laughs> and uh but, at, man, I fucking, it took months. Everybody's trying to get out of there. It took months. There was a three-month waiting list to get a moving van out of Pensacola. And uh, I finally got a moving van in December. I think the hurricane happened in uh, late August, early September. Yeah. And um, so I get my moving van, and I finally get everything loaded, and I'm going to move to Atlanta. That's as far as I can afford to fucking move. Right. And I knew I didn't want to be by the beach anymore. Fucking fuck that. I'll drive <laughs> if I want to surf. Right. And um <laughs> and as I'm going over across the bridge, there was this beach house um down at the you know, on on the water and uh, apparently the guy had had an insurance issue because he went up on the roof um and took a paint roller before he moved away as well. Uh because the house was obviously abandoned and destroyed. And he painted on the roof in huge letters, fuck all state. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your plug, all state. Um <laughs> For the record, uh, my home insurance is under a different provider. <laughs> I learned. I learned. I got his message, and I learned. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, God. Some of those people like that you will never hear from, hardly ever, or if at all. One of the founders of this country is uh, Benjamin Franklin. Well, he, Well, one of the founding fathers, anyway. He actually was one of the biggest trolls at that time as well. <laughs> he seems like he would be. He does seem like he would be. Him and Dr. Martin Luther Dre. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, he was allegedly such a troll that the founding fathers had to proofread the Constitution to make sure he didn't include any jokes. Oh, Could Easter you imagine- <laughs> eggs. <laughs> that would be you- <laughs> so fucking awesome. Could you imagine if the Second Amendment said, if you, you can own a gun... But only on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody has to go buy guns on Tuesday, and then by midnight, turn them all back into pigs. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Revolution takes place on Tuesday. We do know that. <laughs> now, some of my favorite trolls are people like James Randi. Now, he's a retired... Canadian magician, he would follow psychics and expose them around on national TV. He's very good at this. I, when Johnny Carson was still on the air, and the the Tonight Show, uh, with with him, he'd be on there constantly. Yeah, he's on there a lot. And yeah. What sucks is I remember watching the Tonight Show with Johnny <laughs> Carson live. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I saw it with my own eyes. At, yeah. On broadcast day. 
fuck. I remember one episode that he was on, <laughs> and they had him, like, he, he exposed on how people, like, he made it something like he could control his heart rate on his arms. And people, they had nurses on both arms, and they would, like, tick off when they could, when they were getting a pulse, and it would, like, one would stop, and the other one would go faster, and then the other one would go slow, would, they would start speeding up again, back and forth, and then one would turn off, like he's controlling his body somehow just to do this. And it's like, it, it was an interesting, it, it's a, not an illusion, but I mean, it's it's a way you control your body, it, which is, so it, it apparently had something to do with uh, some hoaxers was doing this particular thing, so it, it was great. I think it's primarily just with controlling your breath and mm-hmm. um uh, just you know you, that you can. I think there's a pin, I think there's a pinch point underneath your underneath the oh, really? armpit too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you hit it just right, if you move your your shoulder blade just the right way, you can actually stop the pulse in, in that arm or whatever. And he had this ability, I guess. That's an interesting. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, that was many years ago. It was over twenty years ago. I, I it I think it was him. It might have been somebody else, but it was it was really it was a really interesting bit. Another two people who are great at trolling especially magicians and psychics and people like that, you'll know them as Penn and Teller. They, they made an entire show dedicated to exposing the psychics, paranormal activity, conspiracy theories, and others. Moreover, the magicians that hate the fuck out of them because they're quite often tell their audience how they do their tricks. Yeah, yeah. people don't like that. Yeah, they're, they have this great trick where they do this thing where the guy... Uh, Looks like he's in a rocket ship. They take off the top or whatever, and the head's some, supposed to be someplace else. And they rip off all the paper mache off the front, and they still play the music and everything. You can see Teller climbing around underneath and getting into the parts there and sticking his hands out and everything like that. It makes it look like he's in mul- multiple pieces and other places at one time. It's great. Yeah, and it takes a lot of time. My last wife... Um... Damn it. I hate that I have to say phrases like that. Yeah. Um, my last wife was a magician's assistant. Oh, really? And, uh, yes. And so there were constant practice days, and she constantly had bruises from wow. fitting into these, into these uh, you know, positions and these tiny spaces yeah. and all this. Yes. And to practice over and over and over. It's yeah, a lot it, of work, kids. Yeah, Magic's yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of fucking work. Yeah. Actually, it was just a rough sex, you know, that was afterwards. <laughs> Look, Excellent. it just made it easy to fucking hide the bruises when I beat her. <laughs> well, hey, you didn't say, shut up, lady. At least you didn't say your late wife, you know. <laughs> yeah, at least you didn't say the late wife, yeah. She's still technically yeah, We've been alive. watching Magic's Greatest Secrets, the reruns of the show my grandkids have been visiting, and my uh, youngest son, he loves... He's always loved illusions and magic, and that's so interesting to see it. And I'm I'm the kind of person I guess I just have like ADHD or something because I can sit there and I can watch them show me how they did the trick. But the next time they come up, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. You know, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I prefer the illusion, um, yes. and I still go to magic shows. And even though I know almost every trick because my ex-wife ruined it all, uh, <laughs> um, I uh, I still. Love it. I still love it. I used to go to magic shows with her. I would like take her on vacation. One time I took her to Hawaii and then took her to three different magic shows. (laughs) Why am I single? (laughs) (laughs) It's the magic show afterwards, later in bed that you want to show, you know, the one that the disappearing sausage. (laughs) Yeah, well, That's the disappearing passion. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me, watch me turn this lovemaking into a nap. <laughs> Penn and Teller's show Bullshit. Is yes. Also, oh, my God. It's one of my favorites of all time. Yes. 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 I, I, I mean, I since the beginning, I, I, you know, I'm, the, I'm one of those suckers who paid retail for that DVD collection. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Back when it meant, like, back when it was like 60 bucks for season one. Mm. <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, they used to cost so much. Oh, and their new one, Fool Us, which is... I have not seen that one yet. I have not seen that one I have not seen that one yet. It's on Hulu and I think Netflix. You, it's okay. A couple of places you could find it. But uh, those are fun because they're, they're just illusions. They're just magicians up there. And, uh, you know, if they can fool Penn and Teller, you know, obviously they know so many tricks. You mm-hmm. know, it's, it's pretty hard to fool them. And they've been fooled a couple times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, look... I- it's one of the things, one of the inspirations uh, in our channel. Penn and Teller were an inspiration in our channel. 
Um, and I always look at uh, Pat as a teller. <laughs> he just won't shut the fuck up and let me talk. <laughs> I was gonna say he, he doesn't have the silence. I know him. we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> In our next video, I'm finally getting him more where I want him. I'm so, that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now is editing that video. <laughs> it's just that we did so much fucking production for it, but finally I'm starting to get him to more of a role that makes sense. Yeah, and because uh, ultimately Teller is how I see him being. Just, just, <laughs> just, just shut up and be pretty. <laughs> well, evilness says it's because you ruin cigars. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! We know how to light cigars. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't have fucking done that video with those cigars. Those were Cubans too. Like, oh, those are those, hard for me to get. Those are yeah, I, I've I've heard Cubans are really hard to get. Yeah, those are the yellow band Cohibas. Yeah, and um, we actually, damn it, this is gonna sound poor. This comes across poor, but we exchanged some favors with a fucking Cuban. Oh God, damn what kind it. of? Fa- I I'm, I wonder what kind of favors the NSA might be interested. <laughs> I know. You know what? That's the kind of mystery we like to leave there. Right. That's now, what we did to get those little yellow bakuivas. <laughs> but you know what? We did it, and we got it for that video. Uh-huh. And then, um, then we were lighting the damn. We were trying to focus on our bit mm-hmm. for this opening scene where we had them, and we weren't thinking about how you need to roll the the cigar. And we only had a couple of matches, so I was at one point I'm relighting my cigar with a lighter, which caused all sorts of fucking goddamn hell. You oh, know, really? Confusion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody is pretty much... Danny's one of them. We see you. Um, that just called us out for being horrible with cigars. Look, we're men! We're men, and you can't prove otherwise. Don't use any of our channel or our dogs or any of that as evidence. Fuck you. <laughs> Spe- speak of the NSA... Days after <laughs> America discovered that the NSA was tapping everybody's personal communications, a keyword of terrorist failed script was provided for people to send at the same time on a specific date. It was called Operation Troll the NSA. Sometimes we will do this on, on, on this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should do that right now. We everybody get your cell phones ready. Uh, we will do that on this show, or sometimes we do it at our staff meetings. We will say keywords just just to see if the NSA is listening. See if I'm going to get a knock at my door. We'll say like things like bomb, bridge, terrorism, shit like that. You know, just <laughs> airplane, guess, airplane, 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 airplane. <laughs> oh God Clock. damn it! Let me go lock my fucking door front door. <laughs> I better be careful. The president's visiting here in Western Washington right now. <laughs> yeah, you better. Yeah, you. Yeah, Cotty, you better be careful. Actually, <laughs> but is he in Seattle? Is the president I live, uh, in Seattle? South, Seattle, where, uh, south of uh, Tacoma. I'm in like a Pierce County. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. visiting so, Tacoma. Yeah. Even though it says we just need how to figure out how to do it in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha snack bar. I don't really understand her. I don't know what they're yelling. Now, apparently, this was <laughs> at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Wednesday, June 12th. I'm not sure exactly when this happened. Uh, tw- back in 2013. There it is. This was the script that you were supposed to read. Hey, how's it going? I'm all right. My job is so shitty. I wish I could overthrow. My boss, this is oppressive regime. <laughs> We're only true believers. This is gonna get me. This is gonna get me fucking red flagged. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and his, <laughs> you were supposed to email this out <laughs> or call somebody, I guess. <laughs> In his magic techniques, we'll stay around. I work marathon long length hours and he's made all these changes that have made it worse architecture to work for him to work in manhattan <laughs> <laughs> like he moved the office to the financial district <laughs> i need to fire my assistant she's the only one who knew that where the blueprints were i need access to those blueprints to complete my job 
I'm not going to finish reading the whole thing. I but... can't find my backpack. <laughs> where's my Where's my backpack? Yeah, there's only one true prophet, so... <laughs> At the bottom of it's a contact disclaimer. This is a form of personal but collective rebellion and protest. We mm. do not condone any real DDO attacks on the NSA. Right. Nice. Not... <laughs> oh, did you just Did you just trigger warning the NSA for us? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna read this last line of this letter because it's very it's very poignant. It says, "He says we're this we're this we're a penny or uh, we're in for a penny and for a pound here." <laughs> it ends up going okay. I gotta run. I'm late for flight school. I missed the class where I learned how to land, so I really can't miss another one. Talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, uh, yeah. If you hear about me getting uh, uh, you know picked up by the FBI or or CIA or, or NSA or some bullshit, I'll I'll let you know. <laughs> nice. Nice. Don't, no, I'll let you know. Oh yeah, it might it might they're be gonna, They're going to stop by here first. <laughs> yeah, they might stop by or so fain or well, Connie, Connie's got the CIA and shit people out there right now. So Secret Service. Secret yeah. Service. Yeah, they're gonna be. I look out there. Are you the Men in Black? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there aliens? Or can we can we talk to you? We were picking up some weird transmissions from your house. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 <In> my cats. <laughs> my cats did it. <laughs> Tor Torvian said, "I said Packard on the internet." And had an escort service show up at my door. It was weird. Well, Torvin, I, I told you that dress was just for you. <laughs> the blue highlights your eyes and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> Contact us by email at ppappodcast at gmail.com or on Twitter. As at Packard Folks at. Like us on Facebook.com slash Packard Folks at. Call our Google Voice and leave a message at 662 709 PPAP or 662 709 7727 and we will respond to it on the show. Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central Time, join us live at vonlive.tv slash Packard folks at. During the show, you can share your thoughts with us by calling 857 216 3200 using PIN number 35368 or on uberconference.com slash Packard folks at. For links to the stories, visit our show page at Packard folks at dot WordPress dot com. You can help support the show by purchasing merchandise from cafepress.com slash Packard folks at. Or make a donation to the show at patreon.com slash Packard Pokes at. If you can't afford any money, why not share the show with your friends and rate us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Spreaker, and on YouTube. For everyone that shares and rates us, you kick ass. The Atheists, The Bible, and No Wardrobe, The Podcast. Wait a minute. No wardrobe? You mean, we're going to be naked while we do this? Well, seeing how I'm an atheist and I'm reading the Bible, and since clothes are flammable... Fire! 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 I thought it might be a good idea to take them all off first. <laughs> naked or not, follow along as we read, analyze, and try to keep you from falling asleep as we go through this boring-ass book. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spreaker. Who knows? We may even be on YouTube someday. That's the best way to do it if you control somebody else in your family. Because <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, um, you know what this reminds me of is uh, what is that course uh, that court case uh, Denver Allen the Denver Allen court case. I'm not, um, not familiar with that one off the top of my head. Oh my god, um, you should probably read the uh, and you know this is something I'm just dropping you this because I want to do a live. A uh, skit of this, okay. But the court case where the judge and the uh, it starts getting in a fight with the defendant. Oh, um, okay, 
That sounds well, familiar. This is a new story, yes. Yes, and it's okay. uh, I think Floyd County or something. Um, this is near me. And that's why I know about it. To where he's just sitting there, fucking, and finally the judge gets around, and is telling him to go to pull his dick out and jerk off, and the guy's like, "Look, I, I'm handcuffed. I do my handcuffs. I do my." This is the greatest trans <laughs> court transcript of all time, of all time. Where this judge gets in a fight, and um, you were you're reading me this this trolling thing, and I was thinking when I was listening um, to you read that transcript mm -hmm. about this court case because I was thinking this guy has got to be fucking trolling this judge, and he pissed him off so bad he just kept saying "fuck you." And the guy, you know, is sentencing him, and he's like, no, fuck you again. Fuck <laughs> you. Go fuck yourself. And just keeps, like, fucking just tell him, suck my dick. And I'm um, just horrible, <laughs> horrible, until the judge finally jumps into him. He's like, oh, oh you're such a fucking badass. You're like, oh, you like, to fuck, you like to fuck guys? He's like, yeah, white guys. Like, fuck, <laughs> you like to fuck white guys with big butts? He's like, yeah, yeah, big butt of white guys. That's who I like to fuck. And I'm like, oh what the God. fuck is happening? <laughs> um, and yeah, it's Denver. Um, and I just Sorry. recommend to everyone that you just you just Google Denver Allen. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, I believe the Floyd County. Uh, it's a Floyd County court Somebody, case. It's so one of the most insane things you'll ever read in your life. And if that is not trolling, I don't know what the fuck is. I don't know what the fuck is. Well, up is down, left is right. And the world doesn't make sense to me anymore. You know, who's a really big troll on the internet? Anonymous. Recently. <laughs> they, they are. They are. They've got a great name. They have. Yes, they have a great yeah. name. And anonymous, please. I'm. I, I don't. Don't. Don't attack me. I'm. I'm a nice guy. I really am a nice guy. <laughs> but they have been going after the these Islamics that are posting really hateful shit on their Twitter feeds. They break into their feeds, and they just recently did this, where they start posting gay porn on their on their Twitter feed. It's like, that's the best trolling. I mean, the U.S. government can't get in there legally and do this or shut them down, but Anonymous goes in there on these ISIS feeds, and they start posting gay porn, change the banners and everything like this, so it's like a rainbow flag and shit like that. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I'm reading that to suck my dick translation or transcript here. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, my gosh! Look, it's it's one of the best things I've ever read, and oh god! It says here he's misrepresenting my case. Alan says in the transcript, he told me if I wanted to do <laughs> him to do a good job, I would have to let him do, give me oral sex. He further <laughs> claims that his defendant conspired with doctors so he could receive a false diagnosis of mental illness, and he accused him of concealing evidence from his own murder case. Yes, this is just is like some minor case, right? You know what I mean? And he actually starts going into threatening the fucking judges. He's going to kill the judge's family. And then the judge starts doing that thing where you're like, you know, your mother's fat. And then, uh, <laughs> and then you go, nah, nah, my mother's dead. My mother's dead. The judge basically does the equivalent of that. He's like, I'll fucking go kill your kids. He's like, I don't have kids. Well, then, then, um, then I'll, I'll kill your like nieces and I'll, I don't have any of those. Like, well, 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 then, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the guy's up for murder. I mean, he, he was probably guilty. What more? What more? What more do you got to lose? To be a nice guy in, like, in court? No. He's a legend. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you're gonna be on death row. <laughs> yeah. Take it all the way. That's right. Yeah. Don't go out like a bitch. Yeah. Don't yeah, go. Don't like go like, like crybaby. Yeah. Arrested and I'm on, uh, you know, on death row. You know, on on court trial for a capital offense. Uh -huh. I'm going out. I'm going out like a man. You guys will all know my name. <laughs> this guy's inspired me <laughs> say whatever the fuck you want especially if the case against you is really bad yeah e evilness of the channel said it's like a super foul five-year-old being scolded by his dad <laughs> yeah it's so great <laughs> <laughs> his dad gets really pissed <laughs> that's a good analogy i like it i just need to take you anywhere nice now can i <laughs> 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 oh, that is awesome. Now, there's some other ones here that should be honorably mentioned anyway. There was one here from Dub the Dew. This one is hilarious. Mountain Dew was trying to come up with a new campaign for what it, they wanted, new soft drink. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> the internet spoke up. Okay, apparently Mountain Dew didn't get the memo that trolls exist on the internet. Number 10 was Gushing Green Granny. Okay. Nice. Number nine, Fabulous Apple. <laughs> Number eight, Goosing <laughs> Granny. Granny's going to come up a lot, by the way, just so you know. Number seven, Cruising Grammers. Number six, Grams Squirts. <laughs> number five, I number six. <laughs> Gush, that was number six. Gr- uh, granny yeah, squirts, six. granny squirt rather. Number five, gushing granny. Oh. <laughs> number four is a little hard to read. It looks like diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. Yeah, like Wolf says it. <laughs> yeah, diabetes. diabetes. Number four was fapple. <laughs> 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 number two was. Gushing Granny. And the number one was Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> oh my God. That is such a similar story to Bodie McBoatface. Yes. Oh, we, yes. Connie and I were talking about that at the staff meeting. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, my, that, that is, me and Patrick laughed about that for, uh, look, I don't. Yeah, we, 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 hours, we, we, yeah, hours. we were talking about that. It's like <laughs> that was the great name for it. They should have named it, but oh no, we can't name it. We let you guys vote to make us give us a name, but we're not going to take the name you gave it's us. It's actually not even offensive. No, it's not. It's not even offensive. It was make a cute your name. Science vessel, Bodie McBoatface. Right. What the fuck is wrong with you? I feel like you know if uh, if we were all living in the future, in Roddenberry's future, mm-hmm. that uh, and then everybody voted, you know, everybody in the fucking they uh, voted yeah. for to name it, you know, the Enterprise voting book face. People would have yeah. been cool with it. People in the future are cool. Yeah. Right. But right now, we're dicks. Right. We're dicks. Let it be Bodie McBoatface. I understand why you wouldn't want to name something Hitler did nothing wrong. I get that. <laughs> Evil has said, <laughs> Evil has said, Hitler, official sponsor of Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If, oh, God damn it. You know what? I'm not going to edit myself. Um, <laughs> if, if Mountain Dew had existed back then, Hitler would have got the job done faster. Oh, no. <laughs> Co- Connie here just typed in the chat room. She said, Mountain Dew, the official soda of the Third Reich. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't need less sleep. Get things done faster. Yes. And then we wouldn't get so cold and fucking the goddamn second front, dude. Don't yes. start on the second front. Now, Dawkins Dog mentioned they named it after David Attenborough, which is cool with me, and Bodie McBoatface is now a research sub or something. Yeah, they made a torpedo, basically. Yeah, the name yeah, of the Bodie little, McBoatface. The little onboard vessel. Yeah, it's a, the, little, the little sub, Bodie McBoatface. First off, it's a sub. It goes below the surface. It's not a no. fucking boat. No, they should have named it Subby McSubface. There you and, go. That would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. I would have, I would have said uh, Subby McSubface. Okay. That, that at least gives some honor to Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> Bodie McBoatface just Jeremy, makes me laugh Jeremy, so Jeremy much. Be Holy shit. To be the face of that. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. Now, another one that's a big one on the internet is 4chan. They're, they're, oh uh, God, four chan! Those fucking guys. Yeah, those guys are those guys are way out there. Apparently, they took over Time Magazine poll back in 2009, and for some reason, they had all these people's names on there, and it spelled out Marble Cake <sighs> and the the <laughs> and <laughs> other game. I'm like, why? <laughs> it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Look, four chan. Doesn't need to make sense, right? <laughs> Don't try to make sense of 4chan. I get it. I love them. Love them. What is the uh, what is the other group that is? Oh, Kiwi Farms. Look, I love them all. <laughs> I love them all. They don't make sense. One day they will dox me and have me fucking swatted and horribly beaten by the pigs, <laughs> and that day I, it will suck. But until then. I fucking love those guys. Yes. Now you guys just recently did a great troll on your channel with Steve Anderson. <laughs> that oh fucker. God, I didn't know if anybody was going to understand what we were doing. I understood what you were doing. That was a great troll. The thing is, his original video was taken off the internet, at least off of YouTube, yeah. for hate right off, speech. Right away. Right. It oh, was yeah. taken off. Right. 
I, I don't know if your copy ha- is still up there or not. I was going to ask yes, you about that. Yes, it is. Yes, Good. it is. No, luckily, we were able to write it in such a way that it didn't get, we didn't get flagged for hate speech. We got it right off the bat, and we actually argued about that for hours mm-hmm. um, because I wanted to do it, and Pat didn't think who, <laughs> that we had the ability <laughs> to talk <laughs> about it in a way that didn't make us the biggest douche- douches on the mm-hmm. internet. Oh yeah, no, um, you, made, and, you guys uh, did but it luckily really well. I was like, no, don't worry. He let him be the lead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's going off script. He's going off script. Right. Yes, that was the way you have. That was kind of the only way we could come up with to to remain our characters and still let him and still acknowledge that just days after fucking such a horrible thing happened. Yes, those are the kind of people I was talking about at the top of the show. That those people, they're the evil trolls. I mean, these trolls are the ones you want to cut their heads off as much as possible because they will say it's just hateful shit. They're not doing it for laughs or, no. or to prove a point. They're just being just fucking hateful fucks. Yeah, they're doing it for the hate. They're yeah. doing it for the hate, and yeah. I get that. And it's such a funny line because I find that we're we're dealing with that a lot on YouTube lately, you know, and that new terms of service is trying to – the, you know, draw a ver- the biggest, widest, Vegas line in in American history, mm-hmm. um, because there is that thing where, like, I believe a lot in our community, the skeptic community, yep, um, a lot of people there are very firmly in the corner of free speech to that point where Stephen Anderson should be able to say crazy, offensive shit like that. He should have the right to say it. Now, he should suffer consequences for saying that. He should be able to take credit, to suffer the criticism. Um, But it's, it it, it gets to the point where, you know, even the the staunchest free speech people, at some point, there is a line with all of you. Mm -hmm. um, You know, with everyone, and I'm speaking to your audience, like, like we're here, all hanging out in, at my desk. um, That, that there's a line I feel where it gets to the point where you're like, no motherfucker, <laughs> that right. is too goddamn far. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard, even for me, even for me to say, you know what? That guy has the right to say that. Oh yeah. Um, Cause it gets yeah. bad. It gets bad. And oh, when yeah. trolls jump in, Oh fuck. It gets real fucking bad. You know, it, it's when idiots like that, the, the hateful trolls, that's when the, the community, the troll community, as it were, comes together and says, you know what? We are going to fucking troll the fuck out of you and make sure everybody sees what a fucking, as B- Evilness mentioned it right there in the chat room, says the guy is a, still a cunt muffin. And basically showcase what a fucking hateful fuck you really are. Yeah. 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 You should be able to highlight that. Absolutely. She also yeah. continued on saying, basically, if someone isn't actually advocating for violence, they can say whatever the hell they want. And I completely agree with that. Right. It seems like a reasonable thing. Yeah. It seems like a reasonable line to make. Yeah. That advocating for violence line seems reasonable. Um, it's just it's so goddamn tough, especially when, um, you know, as a liberal. Right. I am a liberal. Yep. And one of the things that, you know, Pat is not. But um, funny. Huh? I know you. Um, it's, you guys he, have... He's the one who always plays the gay character. Yeah, um, he is. He's a conservative. But um, as a liberal, I feel like uh, you know the left wing. Had, you know, I used to laugh at him all the time during the days of the, the high, the you know the the high water of the Tea Party, mm-hmm. and I would laugh at him all the time. I was like, oh my god, you must be so embarrassed. And then now. Now it's swung the other way, and we've got these SJWs on the far oh, fucking left yeah. who are just so butthurt about every motherfucking yeah. thing. Yeah. You right. can't talk yeah. about anything because they get so hurt. Right. You know, um, there we do a little bit, I don't want to say social justice on here, but we expose all of it as much as we possibly can. I mean, yeah, we, we speak out for things, but we don't go so fucking far over the fucking roof that we're just like, completely in outer space on shit they just like there should be able you should be able to have a conversation yeah even about tough exactly. even about tough conversations like uh islamophobia yes um right that's a, that's a tough one and it's a very strong line especially in the kept spec uh skeptic <laughs> i've been having moonshed people 
uh, in the uh, skeptic community. You see, you know, far on one side of uh, the Steve Shives and then way on the other side, the the atheism unstoppable camp, yeah. you know, those, those far, but you should still be able to have that conversation. It should never get to a point where it's shut down just because you think the other side is offensive or wrong. Right. And it shouldn't be able to fucking voice their opinion. Right. That's why we do these. Okay. Let's talk because everybody should have an open opinion. This is why it's an open forum on this. Yeah. Yes. And now evilness said, I saw a feminist blame all men for the Orlando shooting. Fuck. Really? You know what? That's Aww. that's not. Yeah, you know, I understand. Not, probably you're rational. probably right. That's yeah. not skeptical at all. <laughs> that's, that's not. No, it's not. There's no skepticism that's there. With a broad brush, right? Um, it's basing something totally on gender. If somebody wanted to say that, that you know about. I, uh, anyway, I just I don't get it. I don't understand why. I think that uh, myself, you know, I think it makes sense not to be totally offensive with people, especially about something that you can't change that's something basic about you but this is just ideas and right. even if you even if you disagree guess what you get to disagree so yeah. what at the end of the day we might feel dis or think differently about things but that doesn't mean that you have to totally shut somebody else out or shut them down unless like you said unless they just want to be offensive and then you know what i i don't mind ignoring them but i don't i don't understand the vitriol that i'm seeing and the uh skeptical community uh because it isn't it isn't uh rational and it's right. not uh reasonable it's not a reasonable discourse and that's why i really loved about this whole thing when i first was introduced to it was how people talked about ideas and they didn't just sit there and rail against each other and block people just because they disagreed right yeah no platform everybody um and so, uh, sometimes you do you, you have to block them because they're just fucking so far gone or so far removed from reality, it's like I have I I, I didn't sign up to be your therapist at this point. No. But... no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. And it, it's it's tough. It's a tough. It's a tough conversation. And what's what's the thing about it is, um, you know, Pat and I have talked a lot about what we're gonna do in view of the new terms of service and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep saying what we want to say yep. until we get banned. We're not calling. We're not going to ever call it for violence or try to incite any hate against right. people we disagree right. with or that we think have ridiculous arguments or anything. But, but we will push the limit right. uh, to the point where I'll probably one day lose my job. I have a job that this is probably not cool to be doing. Yeah. Um, you know, my I channel is probably not okay. Um, and uh, we're going to keep pushing that. And at some point, we'll find the edge. And when we get there and get bad, we'll uh, we'll come back and let you know what that was. We'll, All right. we'll let you know our findings. Right. <laughs> there was <laughs> so one can, thing. So that you I... can go right up to that and just uh, back it off a little bit. There, there was one <laughs> thing I advocated for people to do on this show a couple years back. We, we've been doing this show for five years now. I advocated, and I, no one did it. I, was, I wanted people to do is go to their local church do this, take a picture of them giving the bird to their lo to a local church or any church or church sign or something and send that to me. And I was going to post it up on the on the website. The only person who did it Reasonable. was me. Yeah, <laughs> the, it hurts nobody. It's freedom of speech. There was yeah. there was actually in this state another instance where w we have a really fucking backwards ass Republican governor. A state trooper. You don't have to like not say his name. We know who you're. Yeah, we all is. know. We all know who he is. <laughs> a state trooper got in trouble because he would drive by his house, blow his horn, and give the finger to the to to the he to a governor. Trouble? He got in trouble That's for this. That's a tradition here. We live mm -hmm. uh, between my house and the nightclubs that we go to. Is the governor's mansion. And every for years since we moved here, it's been over ten years. Mm -hmm. I have a tradition. Every time I drive by and ask anybody who knows me in Atlanta, which is far greater number than I'd like to admit, mm -hmm. um, that um, I drive by, I'll roll down my window, I'm flipping the bird, whistling, and making a loud noise. Usually at like three thirty, four a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and, um, I mean, that's just part of the thing. Yeah. Um, now the, the, uh, I can't the, believe somebody got in trouble for yeah, that. Yeah, and the thing is. He fought it and won. It, he it, it fell. Won. It fell. It, it fell under freedom of speech. They, they found it as under freedom of speech. You can go up to, like, say, you go up to a cop and say, you know, I think that you're an asshole. 
You can you can't go up and say you're an asshole, but I say I think you're an asshole. Or Subject the, you're subjectively be, right. you're an asshole. Yeah. But objectively you're an asshole is a problem. Right, apparently. There's that <laughs> fine line. That fine line. You you control the cops that way, apparently. My ex would tell me this shit. I'm like, I'm I i am not gonna do that. <laughs> Cause they have guns. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and it and it's states like yours and mine. Yeah. They're not afraid to use them. Right. Or carry them into a bar. Right. What, being one thing about, I'm going to kind of shift gears, kind of bring us back to the conversation a little bit where we started. Being <laughs> atheist, being atheist, we troll the Christians quite a bit, and I'm I'm really good at trolling the Christians. I I, I question them on every point, and I, I make sure that they answer on every point, and then bring drop the hammer on them, and it's like, uh, 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 but 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 no buts, we're done. <laughs> there there was an ad. That, this was uh, obviously not an atheist, but somebody that was just a hateful fuck. He says, I am selling a beautiful, durable, and reliable shovel. This bad boy won't let you down no matter what you're digging. Give me 10 bucks and it's yours. I'll throw in a 20-foot extension cord pictured below as well for free. Email me at Russ something at gmail.com. Then right below that, it says, warning, I will under no circumstances sell the shovel to any Jews. So, Holy shit! So if you are a stinking Jew, you don't, and you want to buy the shovel, don't even think about it. So somebody saw this. On, this was on Craigslist, apparently. There's a picture. Of of the, there's a picture of the shovel, and it's a, the yes. guy goes, "I can emails him and says, I can assure you, I am not Jewish. So you can stop pretending you aren't selling the shovel." So the guy replies back to him to me, "Oh my God, I swear I didn't put that up. Somebody is messing with me." Which he replies back to him again. From Russ to me, he says, can you send me the link so that I can have them take it down? And he replies back again, says, sorry, I can't find the link anymore. My wife needed to use the computer, so I had to delete all my browsing history because I was looking at porn earlier. It was somewhere, <laughs> it was somewhere in stuff for sale section, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So does this mean I can't buy your shovel? So, <laughs> There's an, there, there's another one. It's an, I, I don't have it up in front of me. This guy had got this permission slip. This is a very famous one. It's very it's been around for a very long time. Gets this permission slip, says, Your can your kid attend this church school or after class or whatever? And they already had yes ticked off in in the checkbox. And there was this great interaction back and forth so, between this atheist who didn't want his kid going to this stupid thing. And the other guy going with the with the pastor, or whatever, and then eventually started. Cha he eventually changed his email to from God, and he was really pissing this pastor off. It was like, <laughs> 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 I have to find it again. I I I I just remembered it now. I should have pulled it if I had remembered it sooner. I would have pulled it up. But it's a great back and forth between the two and the guy eventually says oh i'm glad you did all this safe otherwise i might have drawn a cat i'm glad you ticked off yes for me otherwise i might have drawn a cactus with a hat on or something so you might be from the <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> nice oh. i love craigslist man yes craigslist, nice. craigslist is great <laughs> Even though I said my mom is a great troll, she put up a guy's truck on Craigslist for sale once. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's a common thing, actually. Yeah. Uh, my boss does that to people at work a lot. He will put their cars up for sale and and put their and give people their, their phone number. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of his favorite tactics for fucking, you know, there, there passive was... aggressively punishing you for being a dick. Yeah, this happened a few years ago. I, I don't remember all the details. I remember there was some kind of bad breakup between these two people. And the woman got onto Craigslist said, yeah, I'm having an open house sale, whatever. Just come on in, take whatever you want, and then just leave. It's like they invited the entire, everybody that was in the area, just, yeah, just take it. She got charged with a crime, basically, for that. <laughs> because she <laughs> she was trolling her ex, but and and people showed up and started taking shit, broke in the, broke in the door, start took start taking everything that was not nailed down. So that's, the, she took trolling to a whole new level in this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I tell you what, um, if I had a printout from, of a Craigslist ad that said I could, uh, take all your shit, maybe I would break a window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and that seems like it's legal. <laughs> it seems airtight. Yeah. An airtight defense. 
I'm like, look, I got the printout right here, bro. It's fine. Why you suck my dick, Judge? Yeah. <laughs> you thought there was a fire inside. You were helping. Yes. <laughs> 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 well, we're coming to the end of our hour. This has been a great of uh, yes. uh, uh, way to you know express our uh, uh, happiness and despair with trolls all all the way around. So I think we I think we did the the gambit on this. But so fame, what do you, on tr- internet trolling trolling in general? What are your last thoughts on this? I got to tell you, there's a fine line between trolling and uh, you know and uh, just and hate speech. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, but I always err on the side of trolling. I mean, where our channel is a little bit of a troll channel mm-hmm. on YouTube. I yes, mean, we is. do that. We troll Christians a little bit and, um, and I think it's fine. And, um, man, I'm always going to side with free speech. I think everyone should have the right to do these things. And as long as, you know, I think like the line was defined earlier, as long as you're not inciting violence, right. then I think you should have the right to say whatever the fuck you want to say. And if it's stupid, I should have the right to say whatever the fuck I want to say back to you. Yeah, that's absolutely yeah. true. I, I agree. Exactly. I agree. I agree. I stand with Leafy. <laughs> <laughs> there was a hashtag going around that says, I, I stand with hate speech, actually. Yeah, yeah. dude, that, yeah. that is a thing. And you know what? And... um. As and how much, I, even though I, I wonder if that's a little bit of a troll itself, mm-hmm. I actually agree. Yeah. I stand with hate speech as well, or the or your right to use it, even though um, I may disagree. Um, I think you should have the right yeah. to uh, say what you want. I, yeah. I, I completely agree. Connie, what are your last thoughts on? Well, I definitely agree with all of that. You know, sarcasm and uh, cynicism, uh, forms of humor. It's it's like I just I don't know I've been editing I find I ever edit myself excuse me blah, a lot on Facebook now and it, it even almost more so than when I was still a closeted atheist because people are just so offended when you say something or you do something and and, and I I assume these are reasonable people and I don't think we should have to live like that and there's no, no. And you know what if people don't s- express their thoughts and even if it might be their thoughts, but if you don't get to express them, then how are you ever going to be corrected if perhaps your thinking is wrong? Right. Yeah, and for, and Facebook, I got to tell you, and that's why their demographic is changing. Mm-hmm. But Facebook is the worst fucking place to try to be able to express how you yes. really feel. Um, that Facebook's the fucking worst, and I know, and I'm saying yeah. that because I can't post on Facebook anymore, and not just because my mother is there. <laughs> but that's a big reason. <laughs> she she hasn't discovered Twitter yet. Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> Thank good. Goodness for that. <laughs> that's why. That's why I barely post on Facebook. But I'll say any goddamn thing I want on Twitter. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, my my final thoughts on this is: if you have something to say, and you if you're gonna make somebody mad, if it's a way that it's productive in some way, I'm all for it. And if it's as long as it's not inciting violence, I'm 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 happy with that. And also, I just want to mention one last troll because it has to be <laughs> said because this is part of an also saying that most people know. And the biggest trolls in the entire world were the Greeks. I have to say this because they they <laughs> they <laughs> took over a city of Troy using a huge horse. So this is where that saying comes from. Don't take a wooden horses. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see what oh, you yeah. did there. <laughs> <laughs> so don't take any wooden horses, everybody. And we'll be <laughs> we'll be back next week with our regular short show. Also check out our our Bible podcast, which is the Atheist, the Bible, and No Wardrobe, where we troll the Bible. <laughs> I'm so excited to check that out. I'm so glad I learned about that today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Check it check it out. It's at abandnw.wordpress.com. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spreaker. All right, and until where can, we, can we find Sophane? Yeah, uh, yeah, when Sophane, where can they find your channel? Um uh the channel is Poisoning the Well. Uh it's Poisoning the Well TV on YouTube. Um and of course I'm always going to be on so uh, on Twitter saying rude shit my mother would fucking be horribly offended by at, at Sophie. <laughs> I am lucky in that regard. My mother's dead. 
<laughs> oh, God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> My mom can't even figure out Facebook, so I'm pretty safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, you guys are so fucking lucky. I know. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, until, until next week, this has been Packer Pokes that we just poked at. You're okay, let's talk. And that's a wrap. <laughs>